A massive repatriation exercise is ahead, but no definitive time frame on when it's set to begin. Minister of Immigration and Labor Keith Bell made the revelation before his cabinet meeting Tuesday. He said that along with the 25 survivors of Sunday's human smuggling operation, dozens of other nationals housed at the detention center are expected to be repatriated soon. We have a total of 27 um, irregular migrants of Haitian descent. 27 males, 8 females. Uh, we have 93 Cuban nationals there now. That is males, 6 females. We have a Venezuelan, uh, 2 Dominicans, uh, a Jamaican national, and an Italian national there. The holdup for some, he says, is in part due to the ongoing investigation into the incident that occurred in waters off New Providence Sunday. Officials believe some 45 persons were on board a 33-foot twin-engine vessel when it capsized. Some individuals are still unaccounted for, but those that have been rescued have not gotten the green light to be sent home. We would have to wait until the police finishes their investigation and be satisfied um, that we may not necessarily need this person as witnesses or if they very well may face other consequences. Of those survivors, Bell also revealed that two had in their possession work permits, which will be cancelled, and those two will be repatriated along with other survivors. We want to be humane about what we do and how we do things, uh, given the tragedy. But at the same time, uh, we have laws to enforce. As investigations continue, officials have in possession three Bahamian nationals in connection with the matter. Reporting for the Nassau Guardian, I'm Janelle Longley.